Cassini spacecraft is set to end its long tour of Saturn with a fatal plunge into the planet. In the final days of the Cassini mission, the spacecraft delivered something no one fully expected. Images so staggering, so profound, that they brought entire communities of scientists, space enthusiasts, and casual observers to a stunned halt. The final transmission of photographs from Saturn's orbit weren't just high-resolution snapshots of a distant planet. They were the last direct window into a world Cassini had come to know intimately over 13 years. These final frames, captured in the moments before Cassini plunged into Saturn's atmosphere, were more than scientific data. They were art, legacy, and mystery frozen in time. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. The most haunting of these images showed Saturn's rings in a way never before seen. Backlit by the sun, their delicate threads shimmering with a ghostly translucence that no artist could ever truly replicate. The fine strands of ice and dust appeared suspended in a cathedral of silence, with light filtering through them like stained glass in motion. Shadows danced across Saturn's upper atmosphere with surreal clarity, each ripple and wave in the planet's clouds casting itself with painterly softness. But this wasn't a painting, this was real. Recorded from just thousands of kilometers above the atmosphere of a gas giant, whose very scale defies comprehension. Among the final images was one that drew breathless wonder from astronomers and citizens alike, an angle of Saturn's North Pole, revealing the famous hexagonal storm pattern in crisp, unnatural symmetry. But it was more than the geometry that arrested attention. It was the color gradients, subtly shifting from a steel blue to golden tan, the kind of shades that seemed pulled from dreams. Never before had Cassini been so close to this phenomenon, and the detail was mesmerizing. It seemed to pulse with energy, a frozen vortex that somehow spoke of motion even in stillness. This storm had raged for possibly centuries, and here it was, staring back in high definition, as if aware of the gaze fixed upon it. Then came the images of Saturn's atmosphere as Cassini dove closer than ever before. Clouds swirled in delicate pastel curls, amber, ochre, pearl, and as the probe cut across the terminator between Saturn's day and night, it captured the planet in transition, half bathed in golden sunlight, half cloaked in blue twilight. The curve of the planet framed the black of space like a polished gem resting in velvet. There were no borders in these pictures, no signs of human existence, just the vast wild truth of another world, untouched and unspeakably distant. But perhaps the most striking of all was the last image sent just before Cassini lost contact forever. Not a dramatic sweeping panorama or a technicolor storm, but rather a single frame of Saturn's upper atmosphere fading into shadow. The texture was subtle, almost minimal, but deeply moving, a series of soft gradations like the folds of silk, drawn in hues so gentle they felt whispered. This image held an aching intimacy. It wasn't dramatic, but it was final. Cassini was already descending, its thrusters firing in a slow battle against the pull of Saturn's immense gravity, knowing the battle could not be won. The image said goodbye in a way that no transmission could translate into words, and in that moment, everything paused. These photographs stopped the world not because of what they revealed, but because of what they represented. They were the culmination of decades of dreaming, designing, launching, guiding, and reimagining. Cassini had become more than a machine. It had been humanity's silent ambassador to a planet that exists in myth as much as in physics. When the final images came through, people from all walks of life felt the weight of that moment. Classrooms paused their lessons. Control rooms stood still. Artists, poets, and programmers alike stopped scrolling, typing, moving. The pictures were not just data. They were a gift from the far reaches of our solar system, the last breath of a machine that had traveled billions of miles and seen wonders no human eye had ever witnessed. The raw scale of the achievement overwhelmed even the most hardened engineers. Here was a machine that had orbited Saturn for over a decade, diving through the narrow space between the planet and its rings, surviving cosmic radiation, icy moons, and deep space loneliness. In its last days, it flew closer to Saturn than any spacecraft had dared, dancing just above the cloud tops, recording magnetic field data, and sniffing the planet's atmospheric composition. It wasn't designed for that, and yet it did it, over and over, like a daredevil on borrowed time. The implications of these final images echoed far beyond the laboratories of NASA or the European Space Agency. 
They reminded humanity of what is possible when curiosity is given fuel, direction, and time. Cassini's photographs weren't accidental. They were the result of engineering genius, of human patience that spans decades, and a vision that isn't easily distracted. The final images carried the weight of all that effort, and they delivered it in silence, letting the visuals do what words never could. Each image opened new questions. Why do Saturn's rings shimmer with such complexity? What causes the exact symmetry of the polar hexagon? How did the smallest shifts in light reveal atmospheric changes that might take centuries to understand? The science embedded in each frame was profound, but the emotional charge was just as powerful. People didn't just see data, they saw meaning, they saw scale, they saw the solitude of a place where no living being had ever walked yet, which now felt heartbreakingly familiar because of these images. There's a quality to images from deep space that no other form of visual media possesses. They're not just pictures of somewhere else. They're glimpses of otherness itself. Cassini's final shots didn't just show Saturn. They became Saturn for those who viewed them. For a fleeting moment, the boundaries between Earth and space dissolved, and Saturn wasn't 746 million miles away. It was on screen, in hand, on the wall, in the mind. That closeness was intoxicating. It was also humbling, and for a generation raised on Cassini, these final images were the end of a relationship that had lasted their entire lives. Students who had followed the mission since they were in elementary school now saw it come to a close as college graduates. Scientists who had made their careers on Cassini's data now faced the closing of a chapter. Every image was like a memory, a snapshot not just of Saturn, but of the years and effort that went into unlocking its secrets. Even more powerful was the realization that these images could never be captured again. Cassini was gone. There would be no next close-up of Saturn's rings, no final tweak to its trajectory, no unexpected discovery from its instruments. What came through in that last transmission was, in a very real way, the last look humanity might get for decades. That finality hit like gravity itself, and yet there was something triumphant in it too, a blaze of glory, not a slow fade. Cassini's last gift to Earth wasn't just visual, it was emotional. It brought people together. It reawakened that deep, old wonder we feel when we look up and know there's more. In some ways, those final images brought Saturn closer to Earth than it had ever been. Suddenly, a gas giant over a billion kilometers away felt part of our shared story. Children in cities with light-polluted skies, who'd never even seen the real stars clearly, now stared in awe at the golden arcs of Saturn's rings with clarity never before offered. The photos transcended science. They crossed into the realm of myth. They made Saturn into more than a planet. It became a character in our unfolding story of exploration and meaning. The images showed not just Saturn's grandeur, but its solitude. There are no signs of life in those pictures, no bustling cities or ancient ruins, just endless skies and alien textures. That loneliness had its own gravity. It asked quiet questions. What are we doing here? How much do we still have to learn? How far are we willing to go? In those questions lay the value of Cassini's last work. It wasn't only about discovery, it was about identity, about the human need to reach, to see, to understand, even when the answers lie half a billion miles away. And for the people who had spent decades building, guiding, and listening to Cassini, these images were not just the end of a mission. They were farewells. Engineers saw not just clouds and rings, but the echo of years spent planning orbits, adjusting parameters, writing code. Astronomers saw the faces of their colleagues as discoveries emerged, the thrill of confirmation after long days of silence. The images became mirrors of memory. The world didn't stop because of technical achievement. It stopped because these images offered a moment of pure shared experience, an emotional stillness in an otherwise loud and distracted age. No voiceover, no soundtrack, no drama, just Saturn, in impossible detail, captured by a spacecraft on its final breath. Even without knowing the specifics of Saturn's atmosphere or the orbital dynamics of its moons, anyone could look at those images and feel something shift. There was a deep, almost primal response, an awareness of how small we are and how grand the universe continues to be. There was awe, yes, but also an invitation to continue the search, to keep asking questions, to look further. Cassini's final pictures didn't signal the end. They lit the torch for the next journey. In a world filled with fleeting trends and manufactured spectacle, Cassini's last images offered something enduring, 
unfiltered beauty, crafted by precision, delivered by silence. They didn't need to shout. They didn't need to explain themselves. They simply existed, and in doing so, they moved the world. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us, what are your thoughts on Cassini's new final images? What do you expect? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.